Do you find it frustrating to constantly try and figure out if a guy is truly interested in you or just playing some sort of game? Do you find that you constantly end up wasting a whole bunch of your time and energy on guys only to end up realizing that it never ends up going anywhere real? Lucky for you, there's a solution to end the guessing game, which is why on today's show, we're going to be discussing how to know he's not interested. That way, you can stop the endless back and forth with a man who wasn't even interested in being in a relationship with you in the first place. So number one is the endless road of chit chat that never ends up in actually meeting each other in person. A lot of you are in situations where you don't realize that part of the reason he's having endless chit chat with you ever actually said out of his mouth, okay, let's plan the day that we're actually going to meet each other. He might fantasize with you about it. He might tell you one day I'm going to book an Airbnb and come see you, but he never actually gets to the logistics of purchasing that plane ticket purchasing that Airbnb, you just can't really see where this road is going. A man who's giving you endless chit chat is not actually interested in you. A man who is making an attempt to see you and spend real quality time with you, the human being in person, that is a man who's interested in you. See, a lot of you are getting confused because you think, oh, he's texting me all day, every day. So that must mean that he's super into me. So why would guys talk to girls? that they're not actually interested in. Why do you talk to guys that you're not actually interested in? The very, very simple answer, majority of the time, is attention. But let me explain to you, him being bored or just wanting attention still doesn't mean that he's actually interested in you for real. The type of interest that's low quality that guys will show you, hoping they can extract something from you, but it doesn't actually mean they actually want to be with you or anything like that. As you continue investing in him, now you've went from saying, wow, I have the best pen pal to chit chat with ever. You start saying to yourself, damn, are we never going to see each other? When you come to the realization that, hey, we're just chit chatting and we're not actually seeing each other, you start saying to him, hey, are we going to go out on a date here in a little bit? And you become frustrated, right? Because you're thinking you're telling me you like me. So why aren't you asking me out on a date? His response is usually this. Oh yeah, for sure. We're definitely going to go out on this date soon. I just got to work on this. I just got to make some more money. I, whatever the excuse is. Wanting to or saying he's going to is not the same as actually doing. And you need to stop interpreting that as, oh, he's interested in me, but there's something preventing him from not seeing me. You know, deep down in your heart that when a guy really likes you and he's really interested in you, he will bend over backwards to try to make things happen for you and for this relationship. Number two is no urgency. When men are interested in you, they will have a sense of urgency. When you spend time with the guy, let's say, for example, you go out on a date afterwards, when he doesn't message you for two days, three days, four days, one week, and then you make the mistake of messaging him instead because your anxiety is growing and you're thinking in your mind, wow, I really liked you. Let me text you so that you can be reminded of my existence. He says, oh yeah, my bad. I didn't text you for the past week because I've just been so busy with work, but for sure we'll eventually go out on a second date. But you know what happens after he sends you that message? Nothing. The truth of the matter is when a guy is not interested in you, he has no sense of urgency when it comes to spending time with you, when it comes to anything with you, when he really wants you and really desires you, it'll never feel like enough. Seeing you once a week will never feel like enough. You don't want him in a position where he feels it unnecessary to have a sense of urgency with you. Why? Because that's when he will not be putting his best foot forward in the relationship. You should not be doing that work for him. A function of you being a woman in your feminine energy means you're receiving him. He pursues you because he sees you, identifies you, and he won't see ya. He approaches you and he tries to get to know you so that he can get more access to you. Anytime you're in a relationship and you're thinking to yourself, gee, this guy never seems to really want to see me that much. Have you ever noticed that when a guy really likes you, it is urgent to him to see you, whether it be difficult, whether you're across the country, whether you're in a different city and the relationship is urgent to him. Number three is when a man is un faced when you're in a relationship with a guy or a situationship because most of you it's not actually a relationship 
and you start to get the sense that he is unfazed or unmoved by anything you do. Meaning if you're going out, he doesn't care who you're going out with, where you're going, what time you're going there, and when you're going to be back. If you say, yeah, you know, I'm going out with a group of friends. Some of them are guys who I slept with. Some of them are guys who like me. Some of them are guys who really want me. He doesn't question it. He doesn't want to know more details. He just doesn't care enough to be like, hey, can you explain to me where you're going? Can you explain to me who you're going to be spending time with? That is a clear sign that he's not that interested in you because your relationship is not about what you're doing or how much he cares about you because he doesn't. He only cares about you as it relates to serving him. So when he wants to spend time with you, when he wants to sleep with you, that is when you matter to him, which is why he'll call you and he'll say, yo, you can come over to my place right now. Like I just finished at the club. Like I, I know you'd be up late and you're like, uh, but I, I, I'm doing this thing tomorrow. No, nah, but you said you don't, you don't really care about that thing you're doing tomorrow. Because what matters in the relationship is not you, the person. What matters in the relationship is how you serve him. Think about the guys that liked you the most. They're always questioning you on what's going on with you. Even if it seems really uh, relevant to you because they care and they're faced. The narrative that you're building in your mind that, oh, he just doesn't ask me where I'm going or what I'm doing or who I'm spending time with because he's so busy himself. I don't care how he approaches relationships. If a guy really likes you, he's not going to be laid back. Oh, you going? Okay. okay. Nah, like I'm, I'm not even, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care who you're going out with. I was just asking because it's like, it's whatever. Like, it's what, what time are you going to the, to the club? Oh, okay. Okay. Number four is a chill obsession. One of the things I hate the most is when a guy that you're speaking to constantly describes you as chill and he describes one of his favorite qualities of you and this relationship as I like you so much because you're so chill. I'm here to help you recognize that when a guy has a chill obsession and all he talks about is how chill things should be, that speaks to the fact that he's honestly not that interested in you. When a guy is in love with you, the feeling inside him will never be described as chill. When you have been really interested in a guy, would you describe that feeling as chill or intense? People say a lot of things that they don't mean, and when you actually give it to them, they respond negatively. Guys say, oh, I want a girl that's chill. But in reality, when they get a girl that only makes them feel chill, they become extremely uninterested in that girl. And you know what they do instead? They take all of that chill energy that they left with you, and they take all of that intense passion, and they go and focus on a different girl at work or a different girl that is not you. Meanwhile, you're chill. But I need you to recognize that so that you can say to yourself, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm wasting my time. This guy is not even really interested in me. I'm doing all the work here. Quicker you can uninvest yourself in this guy. Now you can go on and build a new relationship with someone who actually is invested in you. If he was uh, going to get the chance to take out his dream woman, what would he do? I guarantee you he's not going to say I'd invite her over to my place and watch Netflix. He's not expecting there to be a chill vibe when it comes to that. Part of being unchill, I guess you could say right, is having standards and having a lot of boundaries that you don't allow people to cross. Number five is what I call growing pains. Guys are going to do a thing. <laughs> Anything that pushes the relationship forward to becoming more serious, to having more expectations. So like us actually being boyfriend and girlfriend, that's like expectations. He's always going to fight against that constantly. So let me give you an example of growing pains. If you're dating a guy for, let's say, one year, you still aren't officially boyfriend and girlfriend. And in this entire span, you've only ever seen him. You've never met any of his friends. You've never met any of his family. So you're thinking to yourself, you know, I would really love to meet your family or you're some of your friends that you hang out with and you're spending time with these guys. I would love to like meet some of these guys at some point. You know, it's been a year that we've been talking and I just feel like I don't really know anything about you. He's going to say, you know, to be honest with you, like I just I like to keep my relationship separate and I just don't I don't really think it's the right time. And my mom, she's got a thing where she doesn't like to meet new people and all of these. You'll see so much pushback and so many excuses because the growth forward making the relationship more serious means that there are now more expectations of him 
in the relationship. Those are things that he's actively going to be fighting against and he's going to be very uncomfortable with moving forward towards. Because one of the most important things guys are going to want to do when they actually like you is they're going to want to introduce you to their friends. They're going to want to introduce you to their family. They're going to want to bring you around and spend time with you and do things with you and include you into their life. If I'm not that interested in you, I will always be trying to avoid that. There is no amount of backflips you're going to do to get him interested in you if he's not interested in you. The best thing you can do for yourself is to invest all of your time and energy into you. Because two things will happen. One, you'll become a more desirable version of yourself because the guys will say, wow, look at how much you have going for you. I want to be a part of that. And then number two, even if you end up not attracting the guy that you want to attract, you will still have one because all that time and energy that you invested into yourself, you're a better person because of it. But that is something that you need to become at peace with. The idea that who is meant for me will also be interested in me and I'll never have to ask them as a woman to do more for me.